Okay, so I thought I had more of these than I do, um, but there's just these two. So I like weird Atari cartridges. Um, so this one is Ultra Vision Condor Attack, and this I'm like totally cut off. Um, yeah, Ultra Vision Condor Attack. It's just got a handle, so I was like, that's cool. And then there's this one, Spider Maze. This one has like a handle too. So yeah, um, back when I saw the uh, Little Red Hood game, um, I bought that. I think I I, I must have got it on eBay. Um, let me see if I can find a picture of it because um, it's in the nerd room right now. Um, sorry, I'm like cut off. Um, oh wait, does that one not have a handle on it? Never mind. What's weird about it then? Maybe it just sticks out or something? There's something different about it. Now I can't... Maybe it's not a handle. I think, maybe it's just that it sticks out weird. Wait, I'm trying to figure out what it is. There's something weird about that cartridge. And now I don't remember. I'm gonna have to look again when I go fucking... Maybe I need to look at the, the video. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I don't think it does have a handle, so never mind that. I don't remember, I haven't seen it in a long time. I thought it had a handle. Can I handle those games? All right, let me go back. So there's something else about that cartridge that, um, that's weird about it. I just know that it like sticks out weird. Oh, I know what it is. I just thought of what it is. It's, um, do I have an NES game stick in here? Yeah, I do, Contra. Okay, I'll explain what it is. Uh, I just remembered. So it, there is a weird thing. Basically, if you have the cartridge like this, there's like a, a thing on the side. So when you stick it in, it, co it covers up another NES game, basically, is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's what it was actually. It's not a handle, so forget that whole thing that I just said basically. But hey, at least you got to see these Atari games with the handles on them. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to Ice Climber. What's weird is that it's not Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, um, that, um, that video is one of my favorite nerd videos. Um, I remember showing that game to James for the first time, and he, um, see, I think I'd, I'd, I had already beaten it, or I had made it really far, and I was like, well, this could make a good nerd video, so then I showed it to James, and he, he thought so, too, obviously, because we made it, um, but, uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite nerd videos, because it's very, it's, for one thing, it's a really funny episode, but it's also just, like, very much focused on the game, and those are my favorite nerd episodes, the ones that are just like commentary about the game and not so much um, ooh, uh, the theatrical stuff. I mean, I really want to try to get through this. Yeah, nice. Okay, that was that was good. It's that fucking bonus part up top that's killing me. Right, I'm gonna go on this side. This is very difficult, by the way. Do you like how I just skipped to the last level, too? There we go. I'm gonna wait for him to put the ice in there. We need more nerd videos, Mike. Well, um... Now that we have more help with like editing and stuff like that, we've been able to get a little bit more nerd videos out. Um, oh shit. Um, because otherwise there'd be like one a year or something like that, so thank god. Um, we'd be f so fucked if we didn't have um, like Tony and our like other friends at Screenwave. We'd be able to get like nothing out. Because James has like two kids now, and like I can't handle doing all the fucking editing and shit myself, so it's like, fuck, we really need like the help at this point. It was different back in like 2006, 2007, 2008 when like we could handle most of it, but we can't 
like we can't do it on our own anymore. It's just too much. Cause we got too many things going. Fuck. And with James having like way less time than he used to, it's like it's in, it would be impossible to do anything. So thank God we have them to help. You know. Thing. Up here and up here, okay. There we go. Yeah, because back when, back with like the early episodes, it was just James and I. Fuck. Fuck. And really, the only other person was, was Kyle, I guess, and he did the theme song. But as far as like editing and stuff like that, it was just me and James. So it was a lot, it was a lot of, uh, pressure on on us. Fuck. God damn it, I wanna get through this. Angry parenting nerd, right? I can't imagine having kids. It would be very <laughs> very hard to do. Yeah well he come in, came into it like much 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 later, John I'm talking about like in two thousand six. The jumping looks very annoying to you, says Brutal Book Lane. Yeah, um... Did I just go the wrong level? Wait a second. Let me start this over. There we go. What happened to the green guy? What green guy? Green guy? I haven't seen any green guys in... Are you talking about the game? What, are you, what green guy are you talking about? The green goblin? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What green guy? Oh! Oh, the glitch dude. That was that was Kevin. Um, he helped James with the um, Amy Jam movie. I don't know. He I haven't seen him for years, so I don't know. I don't know what he does now. But he was he was really funny. Actually, I really um, I really like the episode season. He was in the nin the ninja one. And the, uh, the glitch one. There we go. <sighs> oh shit, really? God damn it, I'm over. I wanna fucking get through this so badly. I always get confused, Kevin is the guy who wrote the theme song? Not the same person? No, so Kyle, no, okay. So Kyle wrote, well, no, James wrote the ABGN theme song, but um, Kyle, re Kyle recorded the music for the ABGN theme song. Um, Kevin helped James out with the ABGN movie, and he played the glitch gremlin and the, um, the ninja, and the ninja guy in the episode. So, and Kyle was Spider-Man in the Spider-Man video. Cool. Actually. I feel like I'm forgetting something too. He also did. Uh, uh, well, he was in a few. He was in the Crazy Castle one. He was in the uh, Adam's Family one. So he, yeah, and I, I'm bigger, forgetting other ones too. Um, he was in. I think he's, he did the music for the Double Vision. So basically, he did a bunch of like music stuff for some of the older episodes. Um, but yeah, James, by the way, James, I don't know if you know, James wrote the Avigen theme song. Um, fuck, I can't, oh, I'm still alive. Which is, you know, wouldn't be surprising. Like, back then, it was just like, he basically took lyrics from things that happened in the episodes. Like, I, I guess I'd rather have a buffalo take a diarrhea dump in my ear. I guess he, didn't he, didn't he say that in one, or whatever? But anyway, it was just based off, or like, why don't the weapons do anything? That's like from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which is the second one. All that. God damn it, I can't get up there. Oh, actually was able to hit that bird. You miss Kyle, Justin? Yeah, well he has, he has a lot of kids now too, so. So, I haven't seen Kyle for like, Kyle's a really good guy. I haven't seen him for like, Four or five years or something, I think now. So. Where did the hair go? Yeah, that was that was funny. Where did the hair go? Do, 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 do. 
something with Pat again. I saw Pat at too many games. Damn it. Oh my god, that was fucking bullshit. There we go. Well, what would I expect this is the last level. The jumping seems tough. A lot of people are talking about the, the jumping is tough, but like like I was saying earlier, I think the jumping needs to be this way. If you could jump across the screen like you could in Mario Brothers, it would like eliminate the challenge from it. So they, I'm, I, they designed this on like this on purpose, as far as I would imagine. chance you'll do Contra 3 in the future. I've, well, I've done Contra 3 already. Um, I actually was able to beat that game on hard, which was, it's fucking unbelievable. But yeah, I would, but if you mean, yeah, do it again, yeah, I would play it again. I would, I like all the Contra games. In fact, I would, I've been trying to, what I've been trying to do with Contra is I've been trying to beat, um, the original without dying, which is harder than I thought it was gonna be. And obviously, you know, I knew it was going to be hard, but it's, it's really hard to do. Man. Man, let me go. Do you think I can go the other way? I don't think I can. But you can't jump up like that. There we go. Let's see if I can break this here. Nope. All right, let's try to do... Like that fucker! God damn it! Oh no, what did I do? Please work. Oh no, 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 what have I done? Oh no! There. <laughs> there was an AVG episode where he encounters past enemies, the critic, the Joker, Bugs Bunny, Rob, Cowardly Lion, and the whole thing was a big fight, like in a Godzilla Final Wars. Are you you're saying was there an episode like that? No. <laughs> That's a funny idea. Is that what you're saying? Like there should be one. <laughs> like a yeah, like a um. Like a brawl video, basically. Shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. God damn it. Do do do. I think he was saying, what if? Well, doing stuff with like all the characters like that, it's tough. I remember when we recorded the um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre episode and I had to play two characters on screen at the same time. That kind of shit is like not easy to do. Um, fucking, oh, get up there. There, um, because it's like, I mean, you just film one thing and you film the other thing, but then you find out, like, that it doesn't, like, the timing doesn't work. So that's, like, the thing that's hard about it, because you gotta, like, the one character has to interact with the other character. So if you're just, um, like, if it's a split screen thing, so if you're, like, whatever, I was, like, Leatherface, so I'm like, oh, oh, whatever I'm doing, then if that has to interact with the other character saying a line, like, you can't really, like, overlap, so, like, the timing has to be right. Um, and we do, we do things like indie, we're not like a big fucking, you know, company that can like, has it all like planned out. We, we do things like on the spot kind of, so it's kind of like, 
it's it's hard to do that right, um, like kind of almost like on the cuff, off the cuff. There. Oh my god. So yeah, that was actually kind of kind of hard to do. I mean, it wasn't like that hard, but it was it was a little bit difficult. So well, where I was going with that though is that there we go. Is that if we did like that many characters, like if we did something like a brawl, it would be like Bugs Bunny. Whatever, Cowardly Lion, Joker. I can't even imagine trying to do something like that. Um, like when if we just filmed the different shots, but you know that there would have to be like split screen stuff between the characters. So that would be that would be tough to do. But yeah, it is a funny concept though. Alright. Who is the older guy in the Texas Chainsaw Ava Jan episode? Um I don't really know him, but he was a friend of, fuck, he was a friend of James, he was an actor who, um, um, that James got for that. See, he was actual, like, pursuing, like, acting, where I'm, like, not, but, god damn it. Um, I'm not gonna make this again. Hang on, I'm trying to, like, damn it, I'm not, I don't have the time. Fuck! Um... So I only saw him, well that's not true, I, I saw him for that Texas Chainsaw thing and then I actually, another day on the, um, we did The Deader the Better a long, long time ago and there was a scene where he takes me and throws me through, like, through a car window. This is like going back, Jesus, what, what year was that? Like 13 years ago or something like that? It was a long time ago. Um, I haven't thought about that in a long time. So yeah, he was just an actor. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. Uh, but that was a long, that was a long, long time ago. But yeah, he was uh, somebody that James knew. Yeah, batter up, bitch boy. That was the. That was the line. Actually, wait, was that in the nerd video or was that in the Dead or the Better thing? I don't, even, I don't remember anymore. Fuck. Playing this again, Mike? Well, I don't know that I've streamed this. Um, maybe I have. You know what? I probably streamed this at some point. Or maybe it just means why you're playing the same level over and over. And I wouldn't blame you. Because you know what? It's the last level and I want to try to fucking beat it. I mean, I technically, I guess I have been beating it be because I guess beating the stage only means making it to the bonus thing. But I'm trying to like, I want to make it to the fucking top of the bonus thing. That's what I'm trying to do here. If you're wondering what the fuck I'm doing, <laughs> I'm kind of wondering what the fuck I'm doing right now. <sighs> now I'm gonna start complaining about the jumping. <laughs> God damn it! Motherfucker, put me back on that. Okay, well, kind of good. Fuck you. Oh, okay, I'll take that actually. Oh, I'm get that guy out of the way. And then the bird gets in the way. Come on, you fucker. Good. I hate that this bird's in the way. There's probably like ice climber experts that would be like dying watching this. But yeah, again, I didn't own this game growing up, but I, I've always liked it. I, wa I wanted this game actually really badly. I remember being in Toys R Us and looking at this and being like, God damn it, I want this fucking game. Yes, there we go, okay. Maybe I can do this now. Probably not, but this is where it gets really hard. Damn it. There we go. Oh my god, that's the first. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No! Damn it! I thought I had it. I thought I definitely had it. 
fucking shit. I can do this. I'll do this. Motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it. Where did you guys come up with the idea to do James and Mike Mondays? <sighs> um, okay. So, James and Mike Mondays, uh... Oh, hang on a second. Um... That's kind of, that's like a long story. Uh, I guess I, as I'm doing this, I can tell you. Um, one second. So, fucking bird. It, this is, <laughs> is going to be, a, like, take me forever to tell this story because I'm trying to do this at the same time, so forgive me. But, um, so, um, I think, I think it was around the time, James was doing the, um, doing the AVGN movie stuff. And then we were trying to, basically we were looking for something that could be done quicker that was video game related. Because I know a lot of people want to see like video game stuff on our channel because of ABGN and everything. So um, we had done a video, I think, of James and I playing the, like the Mag Magnavox Odyssey or the Odyssey 2. Or, no, it was the original Magnavox Odyssey. Um, and we thought that that was pretty funny, so we did that, and that was like, a long, long time ago. Um, and then, fuck, there we go, that's what I needed. Uh, hold up. Um, and then at one point, James was like, I want to play uh, this game called, I think it was called Alien Storm. And he's like, let's just do a video where you and I just play the game, because he wanted to like play it. And I was like, okay, let's, you know, we'll do that. And then we put that video out, and people were like, oh my god, that's really, that's really, like, people liked it, people responded well to it, so I was like, you know, why don't we do more of that? And James was like, well, it's easy, um, so I guess we could, it's, I mean, easier than doing, um, like an ABGN video or something like that, so, damn, you can't jump from there. How did I do that before? Um, okay, hang on a second. Oh my god, please give me the time. Holy shit, holy shit. Oh! Oh! Time! Fuck that! Motherfucker. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna get that. Um. What was I talking about? Jeans and Mike Mondays? So. Actually, so be before we did James and Mike Mondays. We were doing, we were doing, uh, we were doing board games, and, um, I think it was around the time when we did, like, Crossfire and all that, um, I said to James, I said to James, what about, um, what if we do a thing called Video James, um, and I would write the, uh, the, whatever, the, the reviews, and they were gonna be, like, more standard like video game reviews and I was gonna write them and they were gonna be really short though they were gonna be like a minute or something and then so it, like for example it would be like Ice Climber let's say I, I would just be like okay so back in 1980 whatever six there was a game called Ice Climber it was filled with eggplants and whatever and the jumping was really bad blah 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 and I'd explain like the game and then James would do the voiceover and that was gonna be a way for us to get like more video game content out. Um, and it wasn't gonna be AVGN, we were gonna call it Video James. Um, so that was the idea. And, fuck, hang on. With 11 seconds left, that was it, right? Wasn't that level fucking 32 that I just did? Oh wait, was that Mountain 1? Did I just do Mountain 1? Because I'm not paying attention. See, I'm, I'm telling the story and I'm not even fucking paying attention. Never mind. Sorry. Um, because I'm talking about fuck. Because see, in my mind is like gone because I'm like talking about a different subject. Sorry. Back to this. I was gonna say that that was so much easier. I was like, wow, I did great. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting fucking senile. <laughs> Shit. 
Uh, anyway, so yeah, we were, we were gonna do this thing called Video James, and James thought it was like a good idea, but um, we never got around to it. Um, and then we did the Alien fucking game. Motherfucker. Um, alien, not Alien Syndrome, whatever it's called. And then we start. Then we started just playing games. And then we did. What was the first one we did? Um, that Rambo thing. Rambo. Um, I can't fucking think of the name of it. Like Super Mario Rambo Four or some shit. So we did that. Um, and people like that too. Then we did golf. So anyway, so we started doing all those. And then basically people liked it, so we just kept doing it. Um, it was good because it was fucking way easier than doing fucking AVGN episodes, so it's definitely worked out, and we're still doing it now. So yeah, that's pretty much the deal with that. And I'm glad it worked out that way, because that was fucking a lot easier than me having to write fucking reviews. It's hard enough to fucking write them for AVGN shit. Super Mario Brothers Rambo 4, yeah, that one. And then, what was the next? So we did golf. I know that's the next one. And then we did, hmm, let's see, I think we did Atari Jaguar CD. And that was the one with that, um, oh, that fucking kid with the orange hair. <laughs> remember that shit? With that one fucking game. I can't remember the name of the franchise. God damn it. It's fucking Snowman. I think I have one more life. Um, I can't remember the name of that either. It wasn't the first that Stuntmaster apparatus thing. Oh, well that wasn't James and Mike Mondays though, that was another did video that we did. So I think what that was, we were, see we were putting out the AVGN DVDs at that time and James needed bonus content for it. So we recorded, we were just in the... We were in the nerd room, and James was like, alright, what are we gonna do for bonus content for this DVD? And I was just like, well, let's just go around the room and just, like, talk about something. So James was like, alright, well, I have this stunt master thing, let's talk about that. And I was like, okay. So, we just, like, broke it open, and, um, and he was like, oh, I tried to open this before, or get it working before, and I could never figure it out, so let's, like, sit and figure it out. So that video was just us trying to fucking, like, figure out how to hook it up. And then there was, like, all kinds of, like, fucking wires and whatever. You can just watch the video. The video is what it, you know, what it is. So that's what that was. That was an AVGN DVD feature. I'm pretty sure, at least. But that, yeah, that wasn't... See, the question was, how did the James and Mike Monday stuff get started? So that wasn't a James and Mike Monday thing. There we go. Now I'm up here... That jump is so difficult. The eye restrain. Oh, the eye strain. Yeah. That thing legitimately, like, hurt my eyes. Like, there's something wrong with that fucking thing. Like, legitimately. I get fucking eye damage from playing that fucking thing. Yeah, that's one thing that I definitely don't want to play anymore of, because I was like... I thought I was going to fucking go blind playing that fucking thing, I swear to God. Yeah, there's something really wrong with that device. And I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, other than being a piece of shit. Because there's a lot of things that we do that, that are pieces of shit. There we go, there we go, alright, I'm up there. Okay, here we go. Well, that's not gonna work out. How did I ever fucking do this? Like that. You gotta do it. Okay. I'm not on level one again, right? <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh, what? Yes! That's it, right? Tell me that's not level one. <laughs> I fucking have Alzheimer's. Yes, it's level 32. All right, thank God. I'm just happy that I don't have Alzheimer's. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. 
because I think I'm losing my fucking mind, basically. <sighs> All right, and then, and then, so this is back to level one, right? And what does it just get harder at this point? <sighs> back, back to level one it is. So it is. No special ending? Yeah, I guess not. Well, that's what I was thinking, is that this game, I was. this is exactly what I was wondering and why, why I actually wanted to beat that level, because I wanted to know if the game ended, but this is more like old school games where there really wasn't an ending. You know, it's just like, it's more about points and getting faster and faster, you know? So, all right, so I'm, I'm relatively satisfied now, because I've I got my answer, for one thing, and I beat the last level, so, um, I mean, I would still like to go through the whole game at some point, but, um, but I guess the hard thing about that, if you're gonna go through the whole game, it's like, um, you have to keep all the lives in order to do it, fuck. So, going through the whole game would definitely be more, more harder. Good English. When Mike is satisfied, Chad is satisfied. <laughs> I guess. I'm satisfied though. But it's not live, so I'm still trying to let like, go. So I don't, I mean, I'm not sure, so I'm assume, I'm just assuming that the game gets harder now, because after level, uh, if it starts over after level 32, the mountain 32, whatever you want to call it, I'm assuming that it must get more difficult, like maybe things get faster or something. But I, actually, I don't know. If anybody knows, I'd like to know that too. But yeah, um, anyway, point is, I, actually, I really do like this game. I think it's really good. And I to and by the way, I totally understand if you play this game and you don't like it. Like, I get I get it. Because of the fuck. Because I can totally see, like, the flaws with it. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, what? Wait, what? How did that happen? Did I go to the edge? I feel like, did I, I want to watch, I, think, I want to see a replay of that. Did I just go through the, did I just go through the edge of the, like, level there? Or, like, did I actually just go off the edge? What the, I, I wish I could see that again. Did anybody see what happened there? Did I just go off the edge or did I, like, go through the ground? Something weird just happened, right? It looked like a glitch. Somebody clip it. It looks like you fell through the floor. That's what I thought. That was fucking weird. So many weird things in these little fucking games. Yeah, so that was some kind of fucking glitch. Aw, oh, damn it. You landed at the corner. I'll have to rewatch it and see what happened. I don't know, it was weird. Oh. Shouldn't have just been slamming the hammer like that. Anyway, I'm not gonna play this much longer. I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to play it. I'm satisfied. I beat fucking level 32. It's good. Somebody was like, you're on mountain 34 now. I don't know if you actually count it that way. It's actually kind of interesting. I guess this would be what? Oh, fucking, well, is that it? Oh no, I have one more. You little shit, you little shit bird. Shit, pickle. Can 
I run? Can I actually run all the way over there? Oh god. Oh wow, I can. Pfft. That's further jumping than I thought you could actually even do. Yeah, there we go. I didn't think I was gonna get any further than that. Oh, thank you, Josh Frilly, for subbing. Pickle, pickle. You might be the best ice climber player that also has a black couch. Probably not. <laughs> I bet you there's a lot of people that have black couches that are much better at ice climber than I am. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make that uh, I'm gonna make that statement. <laughs> this is re actually really addicting. There we go. And I, oh, by the way, also, I feel like the more you play this, the more used to the controls you get. So it's actually getting... Oh, no, that was my, the end, too. Um, yeah, this game's really fun. I like it. Uh, if, you, if you actually haven't, you know, played this... I mean, it's a classic. I'm sure a lot of you have. But if you haven't, I like it. Um, but it takes a little while to get used to the controls, for sure. All right, I'm going to stop there, guys. That's Ice Climber for NES. Um, I might do another stream a little bit later. We'll see. But thanks for watching. And... See you next time.